Um, man finds clown shoes like the story commenced. Uh, Craig was walking down the street one day, minded his own business, and there, there was a pair of clown shoes. And he looked about, looking to see if it was a hidden camera thing, if it was a TikTok social experiment thing, if some, if there was a clown who had, like, left them there and he was going to take them and he's like, what are you fucking doing? They're my shoes. If they were outside a, a shoe shop or a curiosity shop, it just so happened he was outside a curiosity shop. You don't really get them much these days, but here was this one. Funny thing is, it was in the middle of nowhere. Craig was in a field. He was going for a walk in a kind of park and, and then shot. He was like, funny, I don't remember seeing that here. And he went in, picked up the clown shoes, and he said, sorry, these were outside, um, it's called Ye Old, when he at the end, Curiosity Shop, S-H-O-P-P-E. Um, he said, these clown shoes were sitting outside. Um, I don't know if they, you know, somebody had left them. Shopkeeper said, you just try to, I was like, doesn't make sense you saying that, you just try to sort of break the ice. It's because you've not seen this before. You're not sure about what's going on here. You've got me all worked out. He said, well, I've been doing this job for a long time. Come on in. Aye, the clown shoes, I don't know what they were doing out there. I think somebody tried them on outside, changed their mind, didn't they bring them back in? And Craig said, why would they take them outside to try them on? And the shopkeeper said, why do you think? Craig went, Shopkeeper, look, what do you think about in here? Do you think it's brightly lit? It's all right. It was all lit by candles. It's all right. But, um, well, I mean, uh, look at that T-shirt there. There was a T-shirt. Craig looked at it. Aye. Kind of cream T-shirt. Cream, did you say? Cream. And Craig went, don't tell me it's white. Aye. Take it outside. Craig went, I'm not causing any trouble. Shopkeeper went, no, I don't mean, like, take that outside. Take that, take your fucking out. I mean, take it outside and have a look at it. And Craig went, all right. And he took the T-shirt out. And in the daylight, he could see it was white. In there, it looked a bit kind of yellow, sort of cream kind of thing. And Craig was, Craig went in and said, ah, right, so it's to kind of see the clown shoes and the, and the natural Daylight. <clears throat> uh, this is a Stephen King novel. Craig said, you know, it, this is nothing to about you. Uh, what's your name, sorry? Uh, the shopkeeper said, this is really matter. All right, I'm Craig. All right. This reminds me of Needful Things, the Stephen King book. There's a kind of old curiosity shop that opens up in Castle Rock. Have you seen Stand By Me? And the shopkeeper went, Stand By Me? Ah, you've seen Stand By Me. And Craig went, right, well, you know how in Stand By Me, um, this woman came for the back bit, you know, it's kind of bit you could open. She went like are you talking about Stand By Me? The film Stand By Me? And Craig went, aye, Stand By Me. And the shopkeeper went, aye, we're talking about Stand By Me. And Craig went, oh, you know what, get to fuck. And then the shopkeeper did go like that, actually, take it outside. And Craig went, I've seen it. I know it. I know it's a white t-shirt. And the shopkeeper went, no, sling your root. Sling your hook. Craig went out and he went like, your shop's fucking shit. And he, anyway, and he left. He turned around. The shop wasn't there. It was just a field. It's just a field. Spanking, that's too big! I know it's about mental health and I know it's heartfelt, but for fuck's sake, Nicola can read that.
The shop had vanished, but the clown shoes were still there, even though he had taken them in. And Craig went, "You know what? I'm going to, I'm going to just take them." And he took them. He took them up the road. He, took, he kind of passed the park and he went up the town. Kind of walked by. He tried the clown shoes on. And three wee guys walked past and went. On you go. They, do your thing. And Craig went, oh no, I'm just trying them on. And the three of you guys were like, you're trying it on. You're trying it on with us. Craig went like, no, I'm trying these on. Before he knew it, he had this fucking uh, brain kick to his skull. The end. That's a true story. How do I know? Do you recall the three wee guys that I mentioned just a moment ago? I was two of them. What do I mean? Well, you know how like sometimes in um, true story, like novels, autobiographies or something like that are adapted into films and they sort of combine multiple characters into one because it's just a bit too... It'd be a bit too much for the film. Kind of like that. There was actually only, in reality, there was actually two guys there, but I thought I'd do two different ones. Because if it was just the two, you might not have believed that two guys, two wee guys could kick fuck out of somebody with that. Uh, that size, especially somebody with um, clown shoes, big shoes, you could kick fuck out of somebody. Committing a homophobic attack. I, no, that's, that's not what I meant. I don't. I didn't mean. Uh, by the way, uh, we were twelve. All right. Sorry. By the way, we were eight. All right. Um. So there's nothing to do with that, and it wasn't even to do with that. In Glasgow, to try it on means to to attempt to con somebody. Um, so I made me into two people so you'd believe it. Try it on, pushing your luck. Aye. 